puck transitions in there and you have to back check. So what back check leads to is defensive zone. So this is another area where you can be very, very effective. Let's just say the puck is in this area and they go D to D and they carry the puck or they move the puck to this guy and you're in the back check now. If you don't know what you're doing or a habit to create is to put as much pressure on as possible. So where do you want to keep guys when you're back checking or where can they not score from is Outside keep the them dots. outside the dots the best you can. Yeah. So you know you have your D, they're going to do their job. If you come back as hard as you can through the middle. Now, if you're the first one back, you can help the D seal them off. But if you're not the first guy back, you want to funnel through inside the dots. And I, what I tell guys to do is to come back to the hash marks as hard as you can. So some people say, well, you might over back check. Yeah, that's fine. That's I, better than under back check. A hundred percent. So what happens is even if you're not doing the right thing, if you got three guys coming back as hard as you can to the middle of the ice with your two D here, you're in a pretty good spot because from here now you can sort yourselves out with short distances.